Hi everyone, it's Ashlyn. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about grad school. I started grad school back in August and it's currently October so it's been a journey, especially with going to grad school while teaching during COVID. It's just been a lot. So I thought I would recap on things I've learned, things that I'm glad I did, and things I might regret from this experience in case you're also out there going through the same experience as me. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. I want to break this video into three parts. So basically it'll be my regrets, how I'm surviving, and advice for people who might be going into grad school while working full time. So first off we have regrets. <laughs> My number one regret with grad school is not getting my finances as in order as they could have been. So by no means am I financially irresponsible, like I keep track of every single penny I spend each month, but I paid off my entire car loan right before I started grad school, which is great because I had no car loan, but also not so great because I depleted like my entire savings. So I'll have to take out some loans for grad school, which isn't the end of the world, it won't be too much, and I can pay it off. But I do wish I had saved up more money before going into grad school just to have more of a cushion not making like negative hundreds of dollars every month. Anyways, my second regret is slacking on reading before grad school. And yeah, I teach ELA. I do love reading. I love writing. I love media and content, all of that. But I don't know, with school and COVID, I just was not in my reading grind. I was listening to audiobooks and things like that, but I wasn't really diving into books as much as I should have been to prepare myself for all the reading that comes with grad school. So I do wish I spent more time reading before I started my master's program. Now it's time for the next section, which is how I'm surviving, kind of. The first thing I'm doing to help myself survive is making a weekly to-do list. So whenever my modules post for the week, because I'm on Canvas, so whenever my current modules post, I look at the module and write down every single assignment, every single due date. Now somehow I still seem to miss some due dates every so often, but not too many. So it's working out pretty well, I think. And it's also very satisfying being able to check off assignments as I go through the process. The next thing I'm doing that's helping me stay sane is having a self-care day. I feel like with grad school and working full time, things can get very overwhelming and being able to take a day or just even a few hours to just chill and literally do nothing is very helpful. And I feel like it makes me a much better student and teacher. So I normally take Thursdays as my self-care day where I just come home and like eat, work out, watch TV with my grandma and just chill and try not to do any grad school work or school work. And that has helped me stay above water. If you are not taking self-care time for yourself, regardless if you're in grad school or not, do it. It will make your life so much better, 100% worth it. Just find something to fuel you and then stick to that. The third thing I'm doing is trying to take the semester day by day. I feel like, especially when I have those papers I'm writing at 11.50 p.m. on a weeknight, I get very bogged down and frustrated and think, how can I make it through this? But taking assignments and taking the classes and the entire program really day by day day helps keep things at a manageable stress level and it keeps you kind of focused on your immediate goals and not getting overwhelmed with all the stuff the future entails. So taking assignments, taking my modules, my entire program day by day and week by week even helps me a lot and I recommend doing it too if you're getting a little bit overwhelmed by all the things happening in grad school. And the last thing that I'm doing to help myself stay above water is really being invested in the material that I am learning. So I am pursuing my master's in education policy and leadership, and I am heavily invested in this program of study, and I am very interested and excited about this field, and I do want to kind of bring these interests and the things I'm learning into A's Fraction to provide resources to other people who might not be pursuing this because there's so much useful stuff. But anyways, I am invested in what I am learning, and I feel like it makes it a lot better to be reading articles for <laughs> hours if you really care about what you're reading and you want to learn it. So if you are not interested in your program of study, maybe find a different one. Find something that fuels you. That way it's less burdensome to invest the time and energy into the work. And lastly, my advice section of this video. So I have not been in my master's program for too long, but I do think I can recommend a couple of things to people who are going to be considering starting or starting their program. And here they are. First of all, know what you want to do before you start your program. Don't just start at the start because if you are not invested in what you're learning, it's going to be quite the burdensome process. So make sure you care about what you're going to be going into. Make sure it's what you really want to do that way 
my the tasks the readings the classes it won't be overwhelming as much because you'll be enjoying it at least somewhat my second piece of advice for you is to get your finances in order so look at your program look at exactly how much it's going to cost per semester how much scholarship money you'll get whatever and then figure out how you're going to survive it's ideal not to take out a bunch of student loans especially if you're going in education because <laughs> we poor so make sure you're getting your finances in order they're all set before you start that way you won't have that added stress of financial issues on top of the already stressful task of teaching going to work while also going to grad school and lastly think about how you're going to schedule your master's degree into your life while still ideally having someone of a life. Think about how you're going to fit your readings in, your classwork, your group work, because we have that on my master's apparently, like, what? But your everything else that comes along with this process. So think about how it's going to fit into your lifestyle. If one class is right for you, if two, three, whichever, just don't take on more than you can chew in an effort to be done sooner if it'll make the quality of your life worse in the process. Like invest in now, not just in two years from now. You wanna be able to enjoy your life in the process and not be hating every single day for a year when you could be enjoying most days for two years that's how long you chose to make your program extend to so just think about whatever pacing works best for you and then pick the one that best fits your lifestyle i hope this video was useful and i will definitely make more grad school content as i get more familiar with what being a master student is like but please if you have any advice leave it in the comments down below i want to be able to help people with this channel with these videos so please add on to that any advice you have for graduate students for people post grad please leave in the comments and thank you for being here good luck in your program of study or whatever you're doing have a great day please subscribe if you are not subscribed and be the light this world needs bye